Call the Math Lady. Today we're talking about arithmetic with units of measure. What does that mean? Well, units of measure, so we're talking about how we measure things. Inches, feet, but what if we have different units and we need to add them together? So take a look at our first example. We want to add 3 feet and 12 inches. How do we do that? Well, there's really two ways we can do it. The first way is we can uh, move our inches over to feet. So we have 3 feet and we know that 12 inches happens to be 1 foot. So we add those together and we get 4 feet and we express our answer in terms of feet. The other way we could do it, we could convert everything to inches. So here we have 3 feet. Well, We know 12 inches equals 1 foot, so 12 times 3, 36 inches. That's the same thing as saying 3 feet. Plus our 12 inches over here. And now we can just add and we get 48 inches. And by the way, 4 feet equals 48 inches, right? Because 12 feet, 12 inches is 1 foot. 12 times 4, 48. Now what if you had 3 feet plus 18 inches? There's still two ways to do it. We can convert everything to feet, so let's do that. 3 feet remains the same, but 18 inches, well we know 12 inches is 1 foot, so 18 inches is an additional 6 inches. That's 1 and a half feet. So we could actually use a fraction here. 1 and a half feet, and then we add, we're at 4 and a half feet for our answer. That's converting to feet. We also could convert to inches. Here we go, inches. We know that 3 feet is 36 inches plus our 18 inches. Okay, let's add. 8 and 6, 14. 3, 4, and 5. 54 inches. And let's check it. Well, 4 feet we know is 48 inches. 48 plus, here's our half foot, which is 6. 46, 48 and 6 happens to be 54, so our answers are equal. That was adding different units of measure. What if we just wanted to multiply units of measure? Here I have 3 feet times 2 feet. Well, there's two sets of things we need to multiply here. First, we need to multiply our 3 and our 2, which we know gives us 6. But when multiplying units of measure, we also need to multiply our feet with our feet. And that gives us feet times feet is feet squared. So our, that's how we get that label, particularly when we're working with area of feet squared. Okay, so that's, you never can forget that squared when we're multiplying. We want to find the area of something. We multiply our length times our width, right? So here we get 3 feet times 6 feet, we would get 18 feet squared, right? Now, what if I knew the area, but I didn't know one of the sides? So I knew my area was 18, but I did not know what this bottom side was. That's a division problem, right? So we'd have to do 18 feet squared divided by 6 feet. And we can do our math. 18 divided by 6 is 3. But then we have feet squared divided by feet. It means we subtract these uh, uh, exponents, right? 2, and this is a 1 here. I know you can't see it. But it means we're going to be left with just feet, which tells you that the length of this side is going to be 3 feet. Let's take a look at it without the drawing of a square and finding area. Really, 63 feet squared, that's kind of like our area, divided by 9 feet. So first we do the numeric part, right? 63 divided by 9, and we get 7. And then we have feet squared, and we just have feet. We cross this out, and we're left with just 1 feet. 7 feet will be that other side. Now what happens when we do not have the same label on the top and the bottom? Well, we can definitely do the math part, right? The arithmetic part, 150 divided by 3, we know that's going to be 50. 
But I can't just cross out the miles and the hours. So how I write this is I write 50, I start with the first one, miles per hour. So I insert the word per in between miles and hour. Try it with this example, 350 miles per 10 gallons. Do the arithmetic first. We know 10 goes into 350 35 times, but we have different um, labels here. So we're gonna do our miles per gallon. And that's it, that's how you do arithmetic. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division with units of measure. Make sure you give the practice problems on the website a try, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.